Okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using my main account, which has maxed out mastery and darn well near maxed out all of the upgrades, and an alt account, which has never even touched this update at all. What I'm going to be doing is basically showing everybody how to get coins quickly when it comes to an alt account or just basically an account that is free to play. This has no game passes, so it's going to be a lot more harder for me to actually get things that are, you know, technically really good to get coins for. So this is a period of like at least 24 hours at the very least to just basically get a bunch of coins. So hopefully you guys have good luck when it comes to just getting good RNG to upgrade your stuff. But this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you have seen my video that I uploaded on Saturday, I basically showcased how you guys can get coins rather quickly just in general. But in this one, I'll be going over just a little bit more detail for free to play. So for the free to play account, I am going to have to pay attention to all of my upgrades. Obviously, I'm going to be paying attention a lot to the RNG egg luck, the RNG speed, and here and there with the huge luck. Afterwards, what I'm going to be doing is obviously, no, I can't just ignore all the extra like dice that I get on my main account. So I'll also be testing out the RNG for my main account while I'm AFK grinding the alt account at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. I did record some of this video before the nerf actually did happen and then during the nerf when it actually did happen when it starts to hit in this video I have absolutely no idea but I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to tell by the chances of the actual huges that maybe pass by or just in general with the hatching now after a while I was able to test out the dice for the free-to-play account this was after maybe a few hours of just upgrading and I'm able to use those now the main mission for me to actually do this is I am going Going to be using a few of the golden dice to get good RNG then I'm going to AFK hatch once I get a comfortable amount that I'm able to go ahead and convert those dice into lucky dice I am and then going to turn that into a rainbow dice and then I'm going to hope that I'm going to get something really good out of that then afterwards I'm gonna take the coins and I'm going to upgrade as I go yes this might take some time considering the fact that you will start off this slow but in turn it will be worth it at the end mainly because you need as many upgrades as much as possible before you start overhauling a bunch of just rainbow dice especially if you're going to be using the top tier rainbow dice Alrighty, so I'm able to make 13 dice out of this. Now in turn, I'm hoping that I'm able to risk the amount of coins that I have from converting into making more coins doing this. So yes, keep in mind this is a bit of a risk if you decide to basically spend your coins before you go upgrade versus actually just going to upgrade your stuff first. So you can choose to do this or you can go ahead and go to the upgrade section and upgrade as you go. So obviously I made enough coins into actually upgrading the RNG for the huge luck and a couple here and there for the egg luck and for the hatch speed if I wanted to. In turn, I actually changed my mind and I wanted to go ahead and spin some more for dice. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the egg luck again. After a couple of hours later, I'm able to go ahead and use some more dice out of this and I'm going to go ahead and risk the coins that I currently have and hopefully I'm able to get something really good to turn that around and do more upgrades. So we're gonna go ahead and let this speed up and we'll see what I get out of this. Alrighty, so after all of the boosts are basically done, I am able to go ahead and convert more dice into better dice, then convert those coins into upgrades.
Okay, so after upgrading as much as I possibly could today in the morning, I went ahead and did the rest that I could on my main account. Now, my main mission is to max out the huge chance to the maximum as much as possible. So this is going to be rather expensive. I believe the next upgrade is 100 million coins. So my main goal is to get near 100 million in order to upgrade the last final few that I actually do need. So hopefully I'm able to get really lucky here and we have been going through so many rainbow dice. I refuse to still use the dice that costs three rainbow dice. I don't know why. I want to be able to get to a point where if I am going to use something super duper duper OP, I want everything to be maximum and then I am able to just basically hoard a bunch of these lucky dice comfortably and then start spending. So hopefully we're able to get some really 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 good points out of this in order to get more coins for because oh my gosh we need a lot so we'll go ahead and let this go and we'll come back when we're done Alrighty, so a final explanation for everybody so it's a little bit more easier to understand rather than seeing a bunch of things on the screen. So the first thing that you guys are going to do, whether you are free to play or pay to play, it does not matter. The only thing that actually kicks in more for pay to play is the RNG chances for luck for the stat pets. And of course the forever pack if you guys go that route for the dice. Now the thing you guys are going to pay attention to mostly is your coins and how much value certain stat pets bring you. But how in the world are you supposed to be able to get stuff if you can't afford it? Well that's the beauty of risk of return when it comes to spinning for the RNG. So you're going to be paying attention to a lot of the RNG egg luck. Obviously if you want faster hatching speed you would want to upgrade that. The bonus luck. Now I am able to do this because I have two accounts going at the same time with an auto clicker. So I'm able to basically hoard as long as I want throughout the day in order to do this. Now, not everybody is going to have that vanity of having that auto clicker option, especially if they are mobile players or better yet, tablet players console, stuff like that. So if you do have a PC and you guys are able to set up an auto clicker forever, however long that you're able to, do that ASAP because this does help out a lot when it comes to getting a lot of dice. Okay, so I like how I said I was probably gonna wait until I actually use the best dice. Okay, I actually lied. I'm, I'm using a few of these. So what I'm going to be doing is manually hitting this thing 10 times, waiting till the bonus actually shows up and then then use the dice. I want that extra bonus on there because at this point anything does help. So let me know down in the comments down below if you guys still have been able to get anything good out of this, whether you're using the golden dice, the normal dice, the second rainbow dice, or the best dice in the game. Obviously, in the next video upload, the next winner of the giveaway will get a huge pet. Also, don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out at the end, come out with more content for you guys. And until then, I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.